The House of Representatives has resolved to conduct an investigative hearing on the non-compliance by banks and financial institutions with Central Bank of Nigeria CBN directive on the net open position limits. The resolution of the House followed the adoption of a motion of urgent national importance on the need for banks to implement CBN's policies on holding excess long foreign exchange and net open positions limit. Moved at the plenary on Wednesday by Honorable Babajimi Benson. Moving the motion, Benson explained that the CBN is saddled with the responsibility of regulating the monetary policies of the country as provided by the CBN Act. The House is further concerned that the commercial banks and certain financial institutions in Nigeria usually hold back a large part of foreign exchange that they obtain either through purchase, <coughs> borrowing, or allocation from the CBN rather than lending on lending same to their customers with a view to selling it when the exchange rate is high. The House is worried that this speculative activity by commercial banks <coughs> and certain financial institutions has further exacerbated the harsh economic situation in the country and has led to difficulty by legitimate businesses to obtain foreign exchange for their business transactions. In another development, the House of Representatives has mandated the Committees on Education Examination Board and Basic Education to interact with the National Examination Council, NECO, on her planned 2024 promotion examination for about 1,500 staff. This followed the adoption of a motion on matter of urgent public importance moved by Honorable Akim Adeyemi. While moving the motion, Honorable Adeyemi says the House is aware that, it is, that in the past, the examination body has conducted similar promotion examinations for her staff at various zonal or regional offices without necessarily making them converge in large numbers and in one place for the promotion exercise. We are concerned that due to the security situation in the country and the economic action parted out of the season, including the staff of National Examination Council, NECO, it is perilous to cost about 1,500 staff to travel from different parts of the country to one place in the name of promotional examination, Mr. Speaker. Believe that the examination body which conducts examination for candidates all over the country has the capacity to conduct promotion examination for our staff at different of the Federation. He has to resolve that we mandate the committees on education, examination board and basic education to interact with the National Examination Council, NECO, on our plan 2024 promotion examination for about 1,500 staff at place vis-à-vis -vis the security and economic institution of the country. Also at plenary, the House adopted the motion by Honorable Dominic Okafo, summoning the FCT Minister Nyesom Wike, the National Security Advisor Nuhu Ribadu, and heads of all security agencies over rising insecurity in the federal capital. Invite the Minister of the Prime Capital Territory, the National Security Advisor, and heads of all security agencies for an emergency security briefing and strategy. Two, mandate the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory to install security cameras in around the FCT and its environs. Also, to install other security gadgets and equip security personnel with modern security equipment to combat the rising and frightening insecurity within the territory and its environs, including the use of drones. Third, mandate heads of all security agencies to urgently collaborate among themselves, train and set up special units with their formations to track and clamp down on the criminal elements within and around the territory. Fourth, mandate the security agency to immediately commence the use of the registered national education number NIN in their technology to trace and curb insecurity across the Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.